welcome to my craft room. I've got a new Z Fold card and um, I love it. It is super cute. When you close it, it looks like this one. It goes in the envelope. When they open it, you have a pop-up crib with a mobile and it's really easy to display. But first, I need you to go down in the description. There's a Cricut link there, and it will put the base of this card onto your canvas on Cricut if you click on it. And then that way, you've got the base, and we can start from there. So, let's go make it. Okay, here we are on the canvas. If you clicked the Cricut link in my description, you will have this already loaded up onto your canvas. If you didn't, pause now, go click the link down below, and it will put all of this onto your canvas and we can start from there. So first, um, we are only gonna be using the one and not these three. So we're gonna delete that. We're going to move the envelope down out of our way so we can't see it. We will do colors here in a little bit. But first, we need to change the sizes on this. So first, I'm going to ungroup it. Then I'm going to take the card itself away. This is 10 inches by 2 inches, and we need to change it to 1 inch. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the unlock button and then just change this to 1. Okay, there we go. Now we need to change the color if you're not doing this for a boy. If you want to do it for in the light green like I did, or you want to change it to peak. So, and then we are going to do all of these also, but first let's get this put back together. There we go. And this we're going to change to one inch high so it will hide underneath and we're going to change this to also to the green okay so we are going to go when we're doing that you got to go into layers let's find where it's gray here's the white square go down here and then we're going to change it to the light green there we go and then we're going to do the same thing here we're going to go into actions and group Grab all three of these and let's change the color. There we go. Now let's put this back up here. There we go. This goes all the way up here. And of course you can change this to whatever you want, but we are gonna change these cribs real quick. If it has a score mark or a pen mark on it, you have to change colors in layers. Now, of course, you can change this to any color that you would like. I am going to use white. So there we go. Now, all of that's ready. Okay, ready for you to cut. So now let's get some of our images. Okay, if you have never... um looked up an image by its code number every single one of them starts with hashtag m and the mobile is 3ab 3b there we go and there you go you're going to click on it it's going to put you down here by add you'll see that i have all of your numbers here that you need go ahead and look all of those up and get them put all on the canvas and then I'm gonna fast forward from here. Do all that and we'll be ready to put it together. Okay, now here we are on the canvas. I'm going to move these around so we can kind of work on them individually. I'll make them bigger here. Okay, first thing, let's get all the sizes correct and then we can worry about the colors. 
on the blanket, it's going to be two inches high. So you're going to go into here and do two inches. Oh, guess what? I left the in-between lock unlocked. Okay, before you change any of these sizes, make sure that that lock in between width and height is locked and everything will keep it scale. Now the mobile is also two inches high. The toy is uh, one and a half inches high. There we go. The teddy is two inches high. The blocks is 1.5. The congrats is five inches wide. So you're gonna go into width this time. There we go. Okay, the bet the easiest thing for us to do is gonna go ahead and do the congrats. Now I want it to be um outlined. So I'm gonna to go to edit and then I'm gonna to go to offset. Okay. And you see how that does? But I don't want it that big. Actually, I want it real close. A little bit smaller than that. Now, this is a personal choice, of course. Now, here we are at 0.112. Um, I'm going to go even a little bit just like that. So I have a little bit more holes in between everything where the green will show through. So probably 0 0.09, 0 0.1, somewhere around there. And this is a personal choice. It's your decision. So then we're going to do done. And you see how that's gray? Mine I used in white. There we go. And then let's pick a yellow. I'm going to pick one pale yellow to use for everything. And we'll change all of that around um, here in a little bit. On the tab, we're going to have to go into layers. On this, I use the light yellow. This one right here. Same with this. The light yellow. And the background, I used the dark blue. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just use this blue. That's good enough. The one up here on the top row. Okay, and this, on this part of the towel, that's part of the towel rack. But we're not going to use this as a towel. We're going to make it look like a blanket. So we don't need that. So when you have something you don't need, you just go down here to the bottom of layers and click on the eye. And there, it's done. We will trim off those other ones after we cut them out. Okay, mobile, let's go find it. First, let's change these yellows to match all the other yellows. And we will double check all of this when we get into sync. Okay, I am going to change this. Let's see if it's the same green. No, I'm gonna change this to the light green. Then this is going to be the dark blue. Okay, and the elephants, they were already blue, but I needed something to get, to fill in for the red because I've got red on a couple of these toys. So this one, we are going to make sure that this is the yellow, which is the pale yellow. The red can stay the red, and the brown to the green. Mm. There we go, just like that. And of course, you can change your colors to whatever works for you, okay? If you're gonna be changing it to pinks and, and, and yellows and all that stuff, if you're doing it for a girl, then hey, let's go for it. Okay, the blocks. The background is gonna be the same as the card background, which is the light green. Then these are going to be the light yellow. This is why I change all the sizes and then all the colors together because it's just easier. This is going to be the dark blue. And these are going to be in the red. I just needed a little bit more red things. So it would kind of distribute it through the card. 
And then this guy, this background gray, you don't need, and nor do you need these, okay? Now, if you want, I did do a background of the light green for this, so I am going to undo this and then do it in the light green. But basically, that's because I was putting it in front of the white crib. If you're going to change this to pink or anything else, then you probably won't need the outline. Then the background I also did in the light green. The bear itself I made white. And his little paws and everything, the light yellow. There we go. How are we doing here? Okay, I think I got everything. Let's check in sync. So we got the dark blue, the green up. These aren't the right green. So you're going to move these up. You just hold down the three lines and then slide them up to where you want. I am all about cutting the least amount of mats that I can get away with. So now we've got white, light yellow, red, light green, dark blue. One last thing. I wanted it to look like that there was a mattress with sheets on it inside the crib. So I made a square. Go into your shapes and get your square. You're going to unlock in between the width and the height. And it is going to be, the width is going to be 4.5. And the height is going to be 1 inch. So 4.5. And the height is going to be one inch. There you go. And my color is the blue. And what it's going to do is it's going to go right back here and it's going to look like you have a mattress or sheets. And I think that is it. So first, I need to ask you a favor. I need you to put this together. Whoop. Glue these two together. Glue the teddy bear, the blocks, the mobile, the mobile, and the toy. Go ahead and glue all of those together. Do not glue the blanket because that and we're going to do something different on that. But other than that, if you will get all those glued together, then I will meet you over at the craft table and putting it together will be quick and easy. Okay, guys, here we are at the craft table. As you can see, it's been used a lot. Okay, What first tip, I put everything on paper plate so I can keep everything um, organized with this. It's not a big of a deal because um, we already put all these together, and thank you for doing that. I use Art Glitter Glue. It dries clear. It dries fast. I buy the refill and then the smaller bottle with this little tiny tip. A little goes a long way envelopes here this isn't the right envelope it's not the right size but it'll give you i bought a ream of copy paper larger copy paper that's 12 by 18 to make these envelopes um and they don't weigh as much in case i need to send it or this is a five by seven card, so you can just buy a thing of 50 envelopes. I got these at Hobby Lobby. I waited till they were half off. Um, and these will last you forever. So it all depends on what you want to do. So first, okay, the crib. We are going to do the blanket. It's actually a towel. I cannot find, I should have two of these little stripes right here that go on the bottom. The back one is not going to show. Okay, first we're going to cut these, um, these towel rack poles off, just like that. These are my original Cricut tools from when they very first start. Isn't that funny? I got the very first Cricut and I've had one ever since. So... The reason I didn't have you put this one together is because we are going to do a little bit of finagling here. So first we're going to we're going to glue this piece on. It should fit right here at this notch just like that. It's going to show behind. So where that stripe normally goes is not even going to show. But if you've got yours and you cut yours and you want to put it on there, 
go for it. I would have made another one if it was vital that we had it, but it is not. So now I'm going to turn this sideways so I can see better and not get my head in your shot. I am going to line it up with that notch. Exactly. There we go. Just like that. Got it a little crooked. Not a big deal. Okay, now, before we do the other piece, because it's going to show on the front, we are going to, I'm going to cut this right along where this guy goes. We don't need that top part. So I'll end up cutting it off anyway. So you can just cut it straight down like this. Okay, get it as close to the yellow as you can. And then I cut off that little, that little extra part that was left. There's that, and then we're gonna do this one. You should have a sort of rounded edge here that this will go on, just like that. Okay, I always dry fit everything before I glue it, just in case, you know, I don't have it in the right spot. Okay, there we go. Don't need a ton of glue on this. And we are going to line it up to the top. Okay, there we go. Going to make sure it's straight because I got to put the stripe on it. There we go. Now we do want to put this stripe along the bottom. There we go. There we go. We're going to make this look 3D. So this is actually folding over the um, railing. So the first one we need to do is this top one. And I am going to... Now, some of this glue may end up being in the open parts. Okay, now this is going to be at the edge, and we want this to show. So I am going to overlap this little thing right here just a little bit right there. You see how that does? Hold on, i got to pick it up so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna leave that little tiny yellow piece right above the bed, okay? Now, we are gonna go in and match this. It doesn't have to be perfect. We want, we want the, sh the, the stars to show out. Okay, you want this little, this little side and then we want a row of stars just like that, see? Okay, since I've got it in the right spot, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little tiny bit of glue right here so it will stay in my in where I want it. Okay, then I'm gonna turn it over, hold down where I just glued it, and I'm gonna run it right along the bottom here of this crib. There we go, just like that. There we go, now look. What, your blanket looks like it's 3D. Isn't that cool? Okay, while we're doing that, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to, you're going to fold up this little tab on the side, okay? And we are going to attach it right here to the end. Now, we'll probably end up... Um, trimming some of this off, which is fine, but we won't know until we get it sat in the card, okay? So, we you want to meet up the folds with these ends and just go ahead, and it doesn't matter, this little overlap here, nobody will ever, ever see it, so. Okay, so let's put a little bit of glue on this tab. This way, we're gonna set this aside and let it dry while we're doing other things. So we're going to put it right at the fold and make sure that we've got it straight and we do. So there you go, that's what your crib should look like. So let's set it aside and let it dry. Okay, and let's go ahead and get the base of the card done. Okay, I already folded this in the middle like a card. 
And then on the front is where you'll have this other score line in the middle, and we're just gonna fold it backwards like this. There you go. And that's why it's called a Z fold card. Okay, so we can flatten it back out again. It's easier to fold it before we put all these on. Now, you will have two of these smaller ones. One has score lines on it. Let's set that aside. Okay, and let's go ahead and get these um, glued on real quick. And like I said, on the canvas and in the intro, this is very, very easy to change the colors. This is gonna go about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Okay, there we go. And then these two are gonna go in the smaller panels. This card is a little bit different from my normal Z Fold cards, and you can go to my channel or subscribe and, and uh, you can see all the other ones. They still use the same base, only we didn't make it little tiny, like uh, we didn't change any of the sizes like we'd had to do for this one. Okay, now let's get all of these glued on. Make sure you get the corners. I always forget the corners and then they pop up and I don't like it. <laughs> so, like I said, these are all going to be about a quarter of an inch around, just like that. There you go. And of course, yours may be pink or blue. Okay, and then we're going to do this one too. This one goes opposite. So this middle fold is going to go down. And this middle fold is going to go up, just like that. See? Okay. Then let's get our panels on this one, just like we did on the big one. I know this looks complicated, but really it's, it's pretty easy. Once you kind of break it down, these are going to have about a quarter inch of either side, but only about an eighth of an inch from the top. You see that? They're not going to go particularly square in there just because I was trying to make it you know, like crown molding or something or like a oh I don't know um wallpaper border or something like that because it's going across the ceiling and I you know want to make sure that you don't want it to um take away from the rest of the card so there you go, just like that, okay? And this is going to go opposite, which means the two smaller parts are gonna go on the bigger, and this is gonna go on the smaller sides. So you're going to match this up to the top, and, and I'm gonna to have to turn it to the side because I can't see. I can't see it well enough to get it all matched. We're gonna match the top of this perfectly, okay, just like that. Okay, let me pull this up to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then you're going to take this little square and you're going to fold it back and we're going to we're going to glue that this square down. Okay, make sure that you still have it exactly matching. There we go. Now, we're going to do this other side, but we're only going to glue in this portion. So, I usually will put my thumb where I don't want glue, so I know where to stop putting the glue on here. Do you see what I'm doing? Okay, there you go. So we're only gonna glue this part. There we go. And look at that, you've got your square. Make sure that you can fold it, okay? And you've got a square right there. So let me now show you what we're gonna do here. Normally, when I make these cards, I make a, I, I put a larger strip and I put it way up above the bottom. But instead, we're doing a thin stripe across the top. But this inside, this, this brace is going to be the exact same thing we're doing with this little bitty um, piece of green that has the score lines on it. Okay. Now, you see where it butts right up against the back? 
see, both sides. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Only we're gonna do it in this little bitty spot up here at the top. Okay, so you're gonna take this strip and you're gonna fold it in on your score lines. There we go. Now, I'm gonna leave them bent like this so when I put it in, I'm not dragging glue everywhere and I'm gonna put glue on both of these sides that we um, folded in, okay? Now, it is gonna be completely hidden by this part, okay? So we're gonna slide it in here. It's gonna be flush with the top, okay? And then you're gonna push it to, to where it meets the back wall, okay? Then this side is gonna go in and it's gonna meet the back wall. You see how that is? Okay, and then I'm gonna bend it to make sure that it folds right, okay? Do you see that? Doesn't matter if it's got a little bow in it. it look, as long as it folds so you can get it in your, um, in your envelope, you're doing good. And we are eventually going to hang the mobile from this, okay? But now let's go ahead and do the bed. Because if we mess up with the bed, you don't wanna have to put all this stuff together again. So I, I do have, I had you do a blue um, or pink or, or whatever color you're using um, to because I wanted like a mattress kind of look in here. I didn't want it to look like the, the crib was empty, but we're just going to glue it in here. It doesn't have to be any specific way. Um, I did about half an inch above probably. But it doesn't have to be exact or anything. It just shows that there's a mattress in there with a sheet on it that's matching the rest of this stuff. And that's all I cared about. So I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to switch it around. It's easier for me to make sure I've got it even, which I don't, from the front. Okay, you just want to make sure it's straight all the way across. Okay. We're doing good, okay? Now, let me show you how this is gonna work. Now, you've got these little knobby things and they can't hang over your card or it won't fit in your envelope, okay? So, here it is, and then it's going to fold like this, okay? Just like that, you see that? So, you're gonna have to put these knobs right against the edge. Okay, so let's do that first. You're only gonna glue half, so I wouldn't even get close to this over here. You don't have to worry as much about wet glue. But we are gonna glue all of this, half of it. We'll do the towel too, to the front to this half, okay? Now, it's your choice how high up or down that you want it. I, I don't wanna do it too far down because I don't wanna get it caught on the envelope. So, I'm gonna do mine uh, just a little bit above the bottom. Make sure that I have it straight, okay? Make sure that this knob on the bed is all the way in the card. Look at that, there you go. And then this, it may need, we may need to trim it a little bit. I am going to try it. Yeah, see, see it's, it's not, it'll fall, it'll do fine, but I made it a little long just because you can't really anticipate exactly how, because of the folds and stuff. Okay, that's looking pretty good right there, okay. And once we get it in there and we fold it up, then it won't, you know, it'll be just fine. Okay, it looks like it needs to be trimmed off a little tiny bit. And it just depends on yours. I'm just gonna barely do it like a little sliver. And some of this depends on how you folded your card and you can't make it exact. Okay, there, now, see how smooth that's folding now? Perfect. Now, all we need to do is glue the back of this crib into the card. And you're only gonna do 
this part, this back part, okay? And it's going to butt up right against, against here, okay? So we're going to be careful so we don't make a big mess with the glue. Okay. We want to make sure that we keep it straight. Oop. See how close. I kind of double checked to make sure that it was as close as, hold on, as close to the bottom as the other part, and that will help you line it all up. Okay, let's see. I need to pull it out just a little bit. And it might be better just to make it flat like this and then fold it down. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to make it flat. Okay, so I pulled this off just to show you. Okay, look, we're going to put the glue just on this part and we are going to keep it flat. Okay, this is going to be the easiest way. Okay, you want to keep that crib flat. You see how I have it all flat? And then you're just going to want to close the card. Make sure that your crib is in there all tucked up good. Okay. There we go. Okay, look at that. You've got a crib. Okay, so now let's do our mobile. Let's go ahead and get it in here. Okay, this needs to hang down here, okay, from your middle thing right here, but it's not long enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off right at the, the, green, the circle, okay, and then we're going to cut this off, okay, so you've got a, you know, pretty, pretty straight line. Then we're going to glue this back on to the back on to the circle. Okay. Now, I kept a pretty as long a tail as I possibly could on here because I don't know how low I want to hang it, and that's also a personal decision. Okay. So now we've got our thing. Okay. So I'm probably going to do it where this, where this meets the top, just like that. Do you see the, the spacing there? And then when it closes, see, just like that. There we go. So I am going to probably make it as low. Now, I could pull it down even lower, but I kind of like that. So I'm going to glue this even with the top of this. Okay. So, put a little bit of glue right here. And all you're going to do is you're going to glue it to the top of this. Let me see if I can show you, if you can see. You're going to kind of get it in the middle, as good as you can get it. There you go. None of it's going to be perfect. It's a handmade card. That's part of its charm. There you go. Look at that. You already got your pop-up crib with a mobile. Look how quick, Look how good you're doing. Okay, now we can kind of put some of the fun stuff. I actually like it to where it faces in, but that's a personal choice. Now, you could, we could do it this way. This is also a personal choice. You can put the little toy down here, but I don't really like the um, size. So I actually like the bear down here. Okay, and then we're going to put the little toys right here, and then, boom, you're going to be done. So let's go ahead and get the um, the congrats in. Okay. I almost redesigned this whole thing, so I could put a little tiny crib there, but I bet you agree with me that you like the bigger crib. Now, I'm going to put this where this T is almost meeting the green okay just like that okay and then I liked you can do I kind of like Teddy down here you know so I think but you can put them here 
you know, it all just depends on what you want. It's your card. You get to make it how you like it. So I'm going to put him right in this corner. Okay. And then we've got our three things. Let's see what is going to be the best way. Because I had to end up redesigning this a little bit. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use all three of these. See, I think that's way too busy. But, yeah. I think I just want to do these two like this, these two toys. There we go. I like that. Okay, so let's put this guy on first. And these would be super cute in all pastel baby colors. I wanted to mix it up with a little bit of dark just because it just makes it a little more interesting. Now, I'm going to put this partially on the top and partially on the bottom. And then I'm just going to overlap this right here. Okay. Super quick, super simple, because you you went ahead and did all the gluing ahead of time. Okay, so, no, I want it like this. Okay, there we go, just like that. And look at that, you're done. Look what a great job you did. Look, this is what it looks like. And then when they pop it open, it's going to be a crab with the cutest. And there you go. You did it. I'm really proud of you. <laughs>